Toby, um, first of all, a big cup final this weekend. It's not very often that Spurs have been able to lift trophies over the course of the, the last couple of decades. How excited are the squad to be able to go to Wembley with that prospect? Yeah, I think everyone is very excited. Um, really looking forward to Sunday. We know we're going to play a big opponent, a good, very good team. Um, we have to have confidence in ourselves. It's it's a big game, and hopefully, uh, we'll be on the on, on the good side. And um, for you, you've been in and out recently, but back in the team on Wednesday against at Southampton and against Everton on Friday night. How important is it for you to have a run of games going into a match like this? Yeah, of course, it's always nice to play before um, that kind of game. On the other hand, I think I'm, I'm experienced enough um, to know what, what needs to be done, um, how to prepare myself the best way possible. So, um, yeah, I'm happy that I have some minutes and some experience in my back. How important is it to ensure that you keep control of someone like Phil Foden or Kevin De Bruyne or um, even Bernardo Silva has been playing very well this season? Or do you have to sort of put to one side your thoughts of individuals and concentrate on Manchester City as a team in order to keep them out? Yeah, of course, again, unbelievable team. They're playing very well, like you said, this season. I think we have to not only stop them, but beat them. Uh, so we have to look to ourselves. Of course, we will analyze them how, how they play uh, and their qualities, but they are such a good team. They can change, you know, they have not one style of play, of course, with, with a lot of possession, but their their threat is from everywhere. So if you only think about stopping them, I think you have to have confidence in our own game. We have very good players by ourselves. So I think we have to have a way that we want to beat them, not only to stop them. How uh, difficult has this week been for you? Because obviously there's been a lot going on, on and off the pitch, a change of manager in midweek as well and you know even this chat different in different uh timings and and training sessions what's it been like over the last seven days yeah of course it's a difficult week um because you you work with a manager for look at now a year, year and a half two years and then suddenly he's not there anymore i think everyone is, is, feels very sad about it because you you're together it's not only the manager it's just the the training staff in, 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 in general, there's a lot of people you work on a daily basis. Uh, you want to get better together. Then suddenly, of course, you were surprised as well that um, he was not there anymore. So, of course, that's, that's very sad. And, and But then, of course, it's a profession to to be there and back ready to, to play a game against Southampton. Uh, so that's what we did, you know, try to focus on the next game. And the best way to get over things is, is winning games. Um, what's it like for you being in a team that is now being run, looked after, taken care of by someone who is three years younger than you? Um, yeah, surprisingly very good. Um, I think, of course, we play together. Uh, we know each other. But on the other hand, I think he has a, a very good mat maturity. Uh, how he brings stuff over to the team. His idea, ideas, how he wants to play football, his tactical views. I think, of course, it's it's early days, but uh, yeah, I think he does it wonderful, um, and it's good. I think the time has changed that there's only the a guy who decides everything. You know, he can, of course, uh, we we all talk about football. We see our football. Everyone sees football in a different way, maybe, and of course, they will will talk about us on how we want to play and how we will feel comfortable. And but of course, he has he has one mindset how he wants to play, and I think. He brings that to the team in an unbelievable way. Does, does that make a difference? Is the fact that you played together, that everybody knows him so well, the fact that you can have those discussions, those honest, frank sort of discussion of ideas, a debate maybe about yeah, how you're going to play? Of course, respects. He's the boss, so we will respect him 100%. Whatever he decides, we will do. But it's, it's, of course, it's nice to, to talk about football, you know, uh, to know if you play on a high level for so many years, you have your own ideas as well. Uh, so that yeah, that's very very nice. Yeah, very good. Um, obviously, a lot of the talk is about Harry Kane and whether or not he's going to make it on Sunday. I mean, are you sort of waking up every morning, checking your phone, sending me a text saying, "Are you feeling today, mate?" I see him. I see him every day with breakfast. So uh, every morning, I ask, "How are you?" Just like a, like a normal thing. But yeah, of course, everyone hopes that he that he wants that he's going to be fit. Uh, let's see. And I think he wants to be fit. So uh, we have to see game by game, uh, day by day. Sorry. Is there a, a bit of you that thinks, though, 
no matter the situation, we have to find a way of winning without him. Yeah, I think that's what, that's what we did. I think in, even in the past, if you see all the numbers, of course, he's an unbelievable player. He's, he's yeah, he, I can't credit him enough. But I think we, we managed um, in, in difficult periods without him as well to, to win games. So if he's not there someday, we have to find a way, for sure. We want, of course, we want him to be there. But if not, we have to find a way, like you said, to, to beat City. I think Maurizio Pochettino was the first time that you'd been in your career where you, you sort of had a change of manager midway through a season. Um, how difficult is it to adapt to that? And do you sort of become immune to it after a while? Do you just sort of take it as part and parcel of football? Or does it does it actually rock you as a squad or or sometimes galvanise you as a squad? No, again, uh, of course, the, in the first moment it hurts you. You, know, you, ne- you, don't, you never want to see your manager um, leave. Uh, again, not only the manager, but the, the training staff in general. But then you need to change your mind quick to the next game because, again, the, the, the best way to get out of this mess, I would say, um, is win games. Um, and of course, we don't feel like, oh, it's all because of the manager. No, we, we were in this together, so we feel responsible 100%. And of course, people want to see, want to look like, where were the problems, maybe this is, but but it's, it's if you're really in it, it doesn't feel like this. You're in there together and you try to do the best together. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we didn't get the result that we both wanted um, as, a, as, a, as a manager and as a team. But a massive respect, you know, and then again, it feels it hurts when you have to see uh, your manager leave, but you have to focus on the next game. That's it's a cliche, but that's a part of football, uh, and we have to change the situation as quickly as possible. I think that was a good reaction, a good answer um, uh, against Southampton. Yeah, I mean, one of the key facets of this season, maybe the disappointments of this season, has been getting in front in games and then losing points after doing so. Did it feel differently on Wednesday night when you were the ones that went behind and fought back to take all three points? Yeah, I think I think the first half wasn't um, the best, but uh, with some small uh, tactical changes, I think we we changed it, and with desire uh, and with with a good mentality, I think we changed. Even if we kind of disallowed goal uh, normally, which I think was nine or eight minutes to go, I think ah that was our chance, but we kept going, and it was a good good reaction of the team, good one. Um, what does it mean to you to play in a Wembley Cup final? Yeah, fortunate. Um, they're going to be fortunate. They're going to be a small uh, amount of fans. Well, fortunate not the full stadium, of course. That's that's something special. Um, I was lucky to play some finals in my career, and it was always yeah the best days of, of my life, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's something special. Just the ground, of course. We with with Spurs, we played a lot on, on Wembley because of the, <laughs> the new stadium. Uh, so it's going to be feel like a little bit coming home and, and it will be unbelievable that we, that we, uh, if you will win the game. Do you think that that will give you a little bit of an advantage, the fact that you've played there so often? Every advantage that we can get, I will take. So <laughs> hopefully, yeah, uh, I have a positive mind. So yeah, uh, I know for sure it will help us. Do you think it will mean more to you winning this cup final because you're playing against such a good team and Pep Guardiola is in charge of it? Yeah, of course it will. It will mean a lot, you know. I think that the, the teams we play were good teams, but in this time of football, every trophy is big. Every trophy is an unbelievable achievement because everyone fights for it. Um, so even this Carabao Cup is, is, if you win it, you you deserve it, and 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 it's an unbelievable achievement. As much as you're upset by the change of, of manager or as much as it's disruptive, could it be a galvanising thing that happens over the next few weeks? You, you've won a game on Wednesday night, which has pushed you closer to the top four. You, you're going into a cup final. If you were to pull off uh, a result on Sunday, all of a sudden the momentum is with you and maybe you could end the season with a trophy and a place in the Champions League. What would that do for Tottenham Hotspur? Yeah, you have to see game by game, and the first game is uh, is Sunday. And if you can win it, it gets you some sort of momentum. Um, yeah, but it's not only we have to see in longer terms as well um, the way we want to play. And but again, I want to make sure to say this again. Imagine if we win it, or we get back on winning ways. It's not only about the change of manager. I think we we have to be grateful for what the former manager did with us um, because I know for sure, of course, the results weren't there that we wanted, but everyone as a player have become better. I know this for sure. So hopefully we can we can end this season and we're going to do everything in our power to end this season on a high uh, and, and go back to winning ways. 
Have you got anything special planned for Sunday? No, all my mind is win the game. And after, I don't care what after. It, it's, I know it is Corona, it's COVID, it's, it's not a lot can happen, but I think just the joy and the, the feeling that you win a final and, and give something to the to the fans, I think, because they deserve it uh, more than that. Yeah, and, and and obviously playing in front of 8,000 for a change, it's going to be an odd experience, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to, I'm going to be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's going to be special, yeah, for sure. It's going to be special uh, to, to, to play uh, in front of fans. Uh, again, even if it's not a full stadium, I'm really looking forward to it.